Hi, I'm Eva and I'm here to introduce to you the upcoming user interface and the views. Not going to do that by myself. Actually, I brought with me the experts, Daniel and Peter. Peter, you want to talk about the user interface first? Oh, yes. So let's talk about what we are currently developing and designing. So we want to uh, have a state of the art modern user interface and also want to improve the user experience and that in a way that your day to day work is more efficient and more effective. Can you show us a bit more? Yes, of course. Let's start with the demo. So after you have installed the labs extensions, uh, labs extension, you got this button at the top right corner. You can switch the perspective and you will end up in the new user interface. So there you could open up a, a, an existing workflow or create a workflow from scratch. But let's start with an existing one. So on the right side, you see the side panel with the workflow description. On the top, you see the workflow toolbar where you can interact with the whole workflow or also if you have select some nodes, you could interact with them. Um, if you select the node, you will get at the bottom uh, this, this uh, node output table where you will see the different outputs of the, uh, of the uh, ports. So for example, here, the first one, the second one, and also the flow variables. Um, yeah. And one feature we have added so far is the infinite canvas feeling. So you could add and move your nodes wherever you are and have no boundaries in building up your workflow. Okay, is it also possible to add new nodes? Yeah, it's possible. Like here in the side panel, we not only uh, display the workflow description, we also uh, display the node repository. So the nodes will be displayed like they will end up in the workflow. Um, so you could add, for example, this column filter here um, or look into the categories like here in the view nodes and select, for example, gather block with the search and then just add the note here as well. Super nice. And what about the additional buttons? So uh, if you select some nodes, for example, those three, you can wrap up them in components or meta notes. Uh, and after you have done this, there are two features that I really, really like is one renaming a meta note directly at the point where the name is displayed. So for example, here, rename this new create Meta node, and also you could add, for example, ports directly at this meta node, like this table. Awesome! So that's the first release preview of modern UI, right? So what's next? So uh, we will add more uh, features in the future. Like uh, currently, there's displaying only one workflow at once, but we will. You could you could have the opportunity also to display and open up more workflows at once, like now. And also, we will provide a, a different kind of editor for the workflow annotation. Awesome, Peter. Thank you so much. So, Daniel, I heard that the views have also received an update. Can you tell us a bit more? Yes, absolutely. So we have done a complete rewrite of our view framework. And this allowed us uh, to improve our views in various ways. So um, enough of me talking. Let's look into them. Okay, so you can see here the four first nodes we created with the new framework, which is a bar chart, a scatter plot, a table view, and a line plot. But let's look when, what happens when we open the dialog of the bar chart. So you can see here now that we not only show the dialog, but we also show a preview of the actual view next to it. And this is pretty cool because if we now, for example, change bar chart to awesome chart, because it's definitely awesome, then you can see this is directly applied here to the view. This works for most settings that only touch the chart itself, but you have settings where you require to have new data. For example, if I change the aggregation method to occurrence count, you can see that there's a little icon here indicating that it needs something when you change the setting. So if I change it, then you can see you now have this overlay here shown where you need to re-execute the node to actually get the new data and also update the preview. You can do this directly here by clicking on this button, and this will save the settings and show you the updated view directly. That sounds super interesting. So how do I get more detailed information about the settings? That's a very good question. So we received a lot of feedback, um, people asking on what particular settings mean. And we had a note description already, and it was good. 
but it was just too far away. So what we added now is this little icon next to the dialogue elements, which when you click, you can see that there's the description right where you need it. So we can see what the aggregation method is for and how to use it and how to actually get to our results we want. Um, so to sum it up, we have created like this new visualization framework, um, which we need in order to make our views consistent in the styling and also in the look and, and feel. Because now all of our new views will look exactly the same, despite, of course, the actual view, which should be different. But the settings will look the same, and also the structure will be, of course, the same. Um, but then we also added like this note description next to the elements where you need them, which should make you way faster in iterating your views in general, and also to get to the results you actually want to have. Mm -hmm. And these are the first views. So what's next? That's always a good question. So next, of course, is we want to improve for, uh, these four views. So we brought them out now, and now we're looking for feedback. I guess there are some settings that might be missing or other settings that you would like on different aspects or different places. So we would like you, our community, to engage, try it out, play around with it, and give us feedback on what you might be missing. Mm -hmm. But then, of course, in nine we have a lot of views, and we only started with the four first ones. So of course, the next step is also to create replacements for these views. Mm -hmm. And then knowing our very active community, what exactly do they have to do if they want to provide feedback? So we have created two threads in the Nine Forum. Uh, one is for the modern UI, where you can just give all the feedback you have for the modern UI to Peter's team. And the other thing is that we have created one section for the new views. And there, I'm very, very happy and eager to see what you guys think of our new views. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Daniel. Thanks, Peter. Super exciting and awesome work. So if you want to learn more about these features that we've just discussed, check out the links in the descriptions. And if you want to learn more about the features of this release, just, just check out the other videos. So happy nining.